What is the persistent threat of extremism that we face today? It's a chilling call for violence against Christians and Jews during Ramadan by ISIS. This echoes the horrors of Nazi ideology, where hate targeted entire groups. The parallels are disturbing and highlight the severity of the threat. Just as the Nazis used propaganda to radicalize followers and urge violence against perceived enemies, so too does ISIS. They exploit societal anxieties, preying on vulnerable populations and twisting religious beliefs into justifications for hate. Both manipulate minds, creating a horrifying similarity in their recruitment tactics. One such tactic is the exploitation of children. This is a testament to their cruelty and a strategy for longevity. Children, easily influenced and malleable, are indoctrinated with extremist ideologies, resulting in a cycle of violence that ensures a steady stream of recruits. However, it's crucial to understand that Islam, like any religion, is diverse and does not promote hate. The recruitment into extremist groups is a perversion of Islam, used to justify violence. Several factors fuel child radicalization, including poverty, lack of education, and social exclusion. Vulnerable children, feeling alienated and hopeless, become easy targets for extremist narratives. These extremist groups glorify violence and martyrdom, appealing to youth seeking purpose. They make promises of paradise, manipulating children into believing that violence is not only justified, but noble. The ISIS's Ramadan threat demands immediate action. The horrors of the Nazis serve as a stark reminder of what happens when extremism goes unchecked. To counter this threat, understanding how they operate, including their child recruitment tactics, is key. This knowledge is essential to developing strategies that combat radicalization and safeguard society. Collective action is needed, promoting peace, tolerance, and respect. It's only through these actions that we can hope to defeat the forces of hate. The persistent threat of extremism is real, but it's not insurmountable. We must stand together, armed with knowledge and a commitment to peace, to ensure that the echoes of hate do not become the risks of the future.